Holy Spirit, you're welcome here, Lord. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. For I always pray to the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, that he may grant me a spirit of wisdom and revelation of insight into mysteries and secrets in the deep and intimate knowledge of him, by having the eyes of my heart flooded with light so that I can know and understand the hope to which he has called me and how rich is his glorious inheritance in the saints is set apart ones and so that I can know and understand what is the immeasurable and unlimited and surpassing greatness of his power in and for us who believe as demonstrated in the working of his mighty strength which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his own right hand in the heavenly places far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named above every title that can be conferred not only in this age and in this world but also in the age and the world which are to Come. And he's put all things under his feet and has appointed him the universal and supreme head of the church, a headship exercised throughout the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. For in that body lives the full measure of him who makes everything complete and who fills everything everywhere with himself. May he grant me out of the rich treasure of his glory to be strengthened and reinforced with mighty power in the inner man by the Holy Spirit himself indwelling my innermost being and personality. May Christ through my faith actually dwell, settle down, abide, make his permanent home in my heart. May I be rooted deep in love and founded securely on love, that I may have the power and be strong to apprehend and grasp with all the saints God's devoted people the experience of that love what is the breadth and length and height and depth of it that I may really come to know practically through experience for myself the love of Christ which far surpasses me in knowledge without experience that I may be filled through all my being into the fullness of God and may have the richest measure of the divine presence and become a body wholly filled and flooded with God himself now to him who by in consequence of the action of his power that is at work within me is able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly far over and above all that I dare ask or think infinitely beyond my highest prayers, desires, thoughts, hopes, or dreams. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. So be it.